We've got 3,000 Ancient Shards. We've got a new faction and one goal. Let's get it. What up team, it's your boy here, back with another Age Shadow Legends video. Due to popular demand, after what I did the last time I did something pretty similar to this, we're gonna go ahead and maybe we'll open 3,000 if it takes that much. We have something pretty cool that we're gonna do here. So Seven Watchers came out and it's very common for players, whales, not players. I mean, okay, it depends. A few shards, a lot of shards, it really depends on the type of player, what you're aiming for. But Faction Wars, as I've mentioned in a previous video, is around the corner and people are going to start thinking about that. Now, if I remember correctly, I could be remembering wrong, I'm pretty sure we got more Dwarves and Shadowkin than we've gotten the Sylvan Watchers faction so far. So with that being said, I'm kind of leaning towards them doing a guaranteed Void Legendary for this, kind of like they did with Rio Bone Spear. I'm leaning towards probably a guaranteed champion from the faction from Sacred Shards, one or the other before the release, as well as a fusion from the Sylvan Watchers here. So that does take, I mean, listen, I'm hopeful, right? They should do that because like I said, I'm pretty sure we got less of these champions so far. They're going to be coming out in waves for sure, but it is what it is. So the point and the goal here today is we made a lot of room. So we're, we're, these are pulls. If you haven't seen my last video, what I did was I emptied the account and I pulled, I want to say 5,000 ancients. And the thing was, can I beat the entire game with 5,000 ancients, not including faction wars? And we were able to do it. And I think about 4,000 shards or so, but with the ever increasing champion pool, which is a problem, Clarium address it, do something, make it a 20 times event, make it a 3x event, something has to happen. So with that being the case, the odds of pulling these champions are much, much lower. So it is my hope and my goal today, within 3,000 shards, maybe it'll take less to have a solid five-man team for this brand new faction of what we have available to us. I'm hoping for Mushroom Man. He's, I mentioned this already, level 50 is gonna be a powerhouse in the faction wars. As far as the other champions, it's really hard to say I want this or I want that outside of this guy because it's kind of whoever we get. Dude in, I know can definitely do a lot of work. Tom buff's going to be strong for sure. But outside of that, as far as legendaries go, how many legendaries am I going to get from 3000? And if you haven't noticed by now, I am on the test server. I'm going to be doing this on the live server, probably not with 3000 shards, but with a decent amount of shards, because like I said, if you're end game or if you're slowly building up, the goal for you is definitely going to be to pull shards for this faction so you're ready to kind of steamroll through with the faction words, get whatever gear you can and start farming those glyphs ASAP because the glyphs are massive, massive in this game. Let's get into it. We're going to pull our first 396 shards here and then see what we got. All right, so we are at capacity with our first haul. Let's see what we got. Sissia, Sigmund, nothing good so far. Anything new, anything, 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 nothing from the new faction. So since I kind of robbed you guys of my expressions, I'm not going to do this every time I pull and have to remake room, but I'll give you a few. Just for like, I don't know. I know that's how typically people react when they make videos like this every time they pull the most useless champion in the world. So I don't want to rob you guys of that by any means. So fun fact before I go on and start feeding all the... Actually, I can do it while I'm talking here. So fun fact, like I was saying, before the whole test server thing, I used to do this for every single fusion. Think about that for a second. For every single fusion, I would buy shards and just pull over. If you've been watching me, especially on Twitch when I was streaming a lot, you know I used to do this. And th thank you, Plarium, for the test server. You saved me a lot of money, but I used to buy, I mean, I wanna say, this is just a random guess. I have no way of tracking this, but close to, if not over 100,000 Ancient Shards. Cause like I said, every time a new fusion came out in the earlier days, I was the one that was pulling, getting that champion first, testing it out, letting people know, hey, this guy is good, this guy isn't as good, to give people that like first glimpse of testing the champion, 
building it out and Horman, for example, Void Legendary. And keep in mind, this was much easier back then because like I said, the pool is so diluted nowadays. They keep adding champions, adding champions, and they're not doing much as far as adding a way for, I don't know, us to get the champions. The, the rates aren't technically lower, but the pool is so much larger than it was back then that I mean, I know I've made a video about this. The video has definitely changed since then because we've gotten a ton of more champions, especially legendaries. But I believe it was like you have to pull over 5,000 of a shard during a 10x event for a 50% chance. I could be wrong with the 5,000. Maybe it's 1,000. But that's still an insane amount during a 10 times chance of getting that specific legendary. Anyway, that's kind of my rant here. And so what I was going to say about Torment is I tested Torment. I showed him the build, showed how OP he was in the arena, and then what I did off stream was hilarious. I built a team to counter Tormund for everyone fusing him, and I just steamrolled my viewers, other content creators' viewers, because everyone was kind of going off of this hard CC stun set accuracy build. And I don't know, it was just funny because of how everything went down. So I'm gonna feed. And then we're going to get back into the pulling, so I will see you then. All right, so we got four legendaries in our first 400 and something pull. Let's get back into it. All right, here we are again. We've made it through about 900 shards total here. We got a few legendaries. We got B -b -b Krila, Kimi, Warchief, this guy, Staltus, and No from the faction. But Mist Rider, Dithy. Let me take a look at the skills really quick. Random buff, extra turn. Okay, so AOE defense down, extra turn, good. Increase attack, increase accuracy. Not the greatest, but the defense down is going to be important. So this is a win so far. What else did we get? Let me see, let me see. I don't think any of these. Okay, we got Mushroom Man. Beautiful. Most people will have this champion from the fusion, but key player for sure. So that's two champions we do have. Now, Ruella. I showed her in the Fire Knight. Crazy champion for Fire Knight. Single target viability. Maybe the A3 makes her viable. I mean, of course, we're going to keep her. So this is like a two and a half right now. We have two and a half champions that are going to be viable as of right now after 900 shards. I would say that's pretty decent luck for sure. So we have about 2100 left to go. Let me make room and continue with the pulls. All right. So we have 900 shards, three, six, seven, eight total legendaries. Definitely above odds for sure. Three potentially viable champions. Let's pull the next batch. All right, so we just pulled three into shards and Plarium. Listen, I know what you're doing. I just pulled Helior, Zavia, Bloodgorged, Kaimar. Okay, so one, two, three, four. I just pulled four legendaries and 300 shards. If you're trying to bait me into doing this into the live servers, with these insane rates, not gonna happen. So for epics, what did we get here? Let's start going through anything for the new faction. Okay, second Ruella, second Mushroom Man. Is this a seated account? It's looking like it. Anything else, Night Rev, that's not gonna cut it. Okay, so we got two of the same champion, not gonna help me out too much, books, faction guardians, I guess, but we are still at the two and a half or three champions, whatever you wanna call it, and our legendary rate has gone through the roof with this past pull, so let's feed some more spots and pull some more champions. All right, so we just did a speed run. We finished off all of our shards. Let's see what we pulled here. So first, let's count the legendaries. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 22 legendaries. 22 in 3,000 shards. So with that being said, how many new legendaries did we get? For the faction we were looking for, zero. But... And it's like Plarium was watching me as I did this. We got Dudan. We got, where is it? I know I saw it somewhere. Cormac, the High Peak. All within, I want to say the last 50 shards. We got two of these guys and one Dudan. So that may just be enough to round things off. Decrease speed here before attacking. Defense on one enemy. Increase accuracy, crit rate, extra turn. Okay, so he's not that good. But we already know Dudan's good. So with that being said, we also have another one of these. And I think that is going to be it. just some more dupes. So this epic here, block buffs, one enemy, attacks all enemy, 30% chance of increasing the cooldown of a random skill. 
probably not ideal, but let's just go ahead and go into a dungeon here and see how we did. Let, let's just take a look. So let's do this, sort by faction, and where is our new faction at? I wonder, did they put it all the way at the end? It is all the way at the end. Okay, so we have this guy, Dudan, this, and then the rest are kind of question marks. So if you had two mushroom mans, you would use two. Optimally, you don't use this guy. I would probably say the rare is best. So with 3,000 ancient shards, I wasn't able to build a proper faction war team that I could confidently say can get me through every single final stage boss that it could possibly be for this faction here. So you better pray for a fusion. You better pray for a guaranteed champion. Save your shards, save your sacreds voids would they do a void i mean i'm pretty sure there's only one void legendary out right now right and he is the rather strong one yeah there's no shot they do a guaranteed event for this guy he's way too good in pvp but yeah it's not like they do a champion that's already out so what i'm thinking is they're gonna do a fusion for a new champion that should be a reviver would be really good i don't believe either of these champions revive removes debuffs Poison, block buffs, blah, blah. Scales off poison, I remember that one. Okay, revives a target. Hopefully they don't count this as their like reviver champion, right? Because every faction has one and we really want an AOE. The other good news could be if this is the quote unquote reviver for the Sylvan Watchers, for the early stage at least, we could get an AOE revive epic, which would be great. Higher odds to get. Maybe we get a guaranteed epic champion, you never know. So that's going to conclude this video here today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And if you are going to pull, remember, if you're pulling shards, the odds of getting a legendary from this faction are incredibly low. So if you have one, if you got lucky, you were in the top percentile of the game for sure. If you have a bunch of epics, start thinking about who you're going to use. And let's hope that we get another strong wave of Sylvan Watchers somewhere in the future. All right, guys, that's going to conclude this video. If you enjoyed this content, smash that like button, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and I will see you all in my next upload.